Hello YouTube, the gun out here. I'm going to do a short video here just to uh, talk about this new tool I have called the uh, trigger pull scale. From uh, This one is from Wheeler Engineering. This is a very simple mechanical device. This is not one of the fancy digital ones, but I wanted to get something because I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on the trigger on this uh, AR from CMMG. And I also wanted to uh, check the trigger pull on some of my other guns. Uh, again, it's a very simple device. It's a spring inside here. You hook this up to the trigger. And this uh, little slider here records how much weight it took to get to the break of the trigger. So it basically just stays where the maximum weight was at. So what I just did, we're just under 3 pounds. So it starts at 8 ounces and it goes to 8 pounds. Packaging here, this is what it looks like again. Talks about how it accurately measures trigger pull force. Has easy to read sliding indicator and has a rubberized tip that grips the trigger. So this costs about 20 bucks. I got it on Amazon. So I got it in two days through uh, Amazon Prime Shipping. Let's see if we can get this on here so you guys can see it in action. And the key I think of getting consistent readings is consistent placement on the trigger. See what we got. Looks like uh, five pounds, not quite five and a half pounds. So we'll call it five pounds six ounces. Let's do it again and see how consistent it is. You have to reset the little indicator there. And again, we want to try to get that consistent placement on the trigger. Looks like that time it was about. 5 pounds, 4 ounces. So it was pretty consistent on those two readings. And I'll try it one more time and then try it on a different gun. Just to show you guys, you know, maybe on a handgun. I really enjoy being able to test the trigger pull though. That time we were just a hair over 5 pounds. So about 5 pounds, maybe 5 pounds, 2 ounces. So let's move on and uh, Maybe try out a Glock or a Smith & Wesson uh, M&P right. shield. Next gun we're going to try it on here is the uh, Glock 27. It is clear. So go ahead and we'll, we'll pull that trigger. The first measurement here on the Glock is coming in at about 5 pounds, 12 ounces. It's about 4 ounces less, maybe 5 pounds, 14 ounces. Alright, let's see how the uh, Smith & Wesson Shield compares to the uh, Glock 27. Let's see the gun is empty. I'm going to go ahead and pull that trigger. Alright, shield is coming in at uh, right around 7 pounds. Alright, we're going to go ahead and try this uh, trigger pull gauge on a trigger that I think is really good. It's in this Ruger American rifle in 243 Winchester that is my son's gun. I'm going to go ahead and, and this one also has a trigger bar. Let's see what uh, the Wheeler gauge says it's at. Yeah, that's a nice clean break. That's coming in just shy of 4 pounds. We'll call it 3 pounds, 14 ounces. So the Wheeler gauge is pretty consistent. Not bad for 20 bucks. A lot of fun for 20 bucks. If you guys don't have a trigger pull gauge, I'd, I think it's a good $20 investment to uh, give it a try. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and you guys be safe out there.